Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. I know that it's been a while, but there's been a lot of crazy things that have happened like college and my computer. So the old computer that I used to do all of this on, my cat knocked an entire glass of water onto it and the entire thing gone. As the first thing I want to film on this new computer is Origins. I've been kind of obsessed with the Origins SMP recently um, and I wanted to experience the fun for myself but of course I didn't want I didn't want any of the basic nine origins that come with the Origins mod. I wanted a special origin that is a lot more me. So let us create this world and if you want I found this seed on um, Reddit for just 1.18.1 seeds. It's cute, it's good, it's what I want. You'll see it when we get into the world. This is the seed that I have if you want to live in the world I'm living in. Here we are, we're here, you can see my skin. Um, let's choose our origin. We're not gonna be any of these basic origins. Um, we're gonna be a shroomling. The impact is high, apparently. That's all right. So the description is just a mushroom lad doing their best to spread their spores. I'm going to be a mushroom. There is an actual mushling um, origin and the, it's like mushroom origins. I think that's the mod. I can link it down below, but we're gonna be a shroomling and our powers are dark growth. We can turn invisible. We have fire immunity. I am lightweight, so I don't take fall damage, which is really nice because that is what gets me a lot. Spore spread. I am used to the spread of my spores, so I have a natural inclination for ranged combat, which I'm assuming is like your bow and stuff. Me in real life, I don't have that. So this is gonna be kind of, this is gonna be a challenge, actually. Uh, I am slightly taller than one block. My cap helps me blend in, resulting in slight transparency. I, I will spawn in the nether. I will receive damage over time while in contact with water. Um, my Wait, did I say I would spawn in the water or in the nether? Because I don't remember now. I am spongy, whatever that means. Apparently my, f my flesh is fragile and I am... I have fungal limbs, so I deal less damage with weapons. Let's see where we spawn. Okay. I'm just gonna wait for the terrain to do a little bit of loading in. Here we are. I am, oh, I was like, we're inside of the block. I'm just really small. Oh, I have less hearts. Let me show y'all my skin because I think it's pretty cute. I did, I'm not even going to lie, I kind of stole <laughs> somebody else's skin and just colored over it, which I will link that in the their skin in the description. And I put, it was an oxalotl girl skin, so instead of an oxalotl hat, I have a mushroom hat. And I think it looks really cute. I did, I love their skin, so. Oh, I can't even get into the one block. I'm small, but I can't fit into small thing. Well, no, I'm taller than one block. I'm slightly taller than one block. So, it makes sense. Oh, <laughs> I'm too small to get that. Um, you know those, I don't know if any of y'all know those TikTok memes that's like, I'm so small and tiny and my small limbs, I can't climb up stairs well or something. That's what this reminds me of. <laughs> I'm so small and tiny, I can't do anything. Okay, we're getting the shroom lights because I am, I am a mushroom, it's just who I am. I, I require the shroom lights. I have big plans for what house I'm going to build, um, which is why I needed this specific seed because it kind of had what I was wanting. Not really, but enough. it had enough of what I was wanting. Um, but unfortunately, we are going to need to get to the overworld somehow. Because 
this is not where I want to build. Although the nether is home to me, a little mushroom, I am this. This is me. This crimson fungus. Uh, I, can't, I need to start making some things. Because the only access to- the only resources I have is whatever is in the nether. Which, admittedly, is not a lot. Wait, I can go under one block if I crouch. Oh, that's good. That is good to know. So if I do that, then I can get up. Also, I can go invisible. Somehow. I think if you press the G key... Oh, am I invisible? No, I'm fast now. Oh. <laughs> I don't- I really don't know anything about this, I'm not going to lie. Or it said T. Oh, <laughs> just opened the chat. Let's make some gold. Oh, I was going to make- we can make some boots actually, because I do need some protection against the enemies in the nether. Because unfortunately, although the nether is my home, the I'm just a small mushroom. They're still going to get me if they come close to me. Let's get some more gold and just see what else we can make. I know I've kind of wasted my five gold on boots instead of um, getting a pickaxe or getting, I don't know, literally anything else. I do appreciate how the nether has been updated though, because it makes it a lot easier to survive and progress in the game, um, as opposed to how it was before, where there wasn't anything in the nether really, but now there's stone and, um, and wood and stuff, so now you could actually, like, you could fully live in the nether if you wanted. We are not, however. We are going to have to find our way into the overworld somehow. That's me. Me and the strider. We are the same. Oh no! Why did I- <laughs> I'm so- What just happened to me? Why did I take damage? I thought I was fire resistant. Oh, I am. Oh, it was probably just the incoming hurl of a fireball that gave me the damage. Um, that was actually like genuinely scary because I'm running sodium right now and iris and one of those two, something about what I have on my Minecraft right now just makes everything fog around me and I think a lot of that is also because I don't have a very high render distance so everything is just fog until I can get closer to it, which is terrifying. I am slowly getting hungry. Which is not, uh, that's not good because I don't have any food. I wonder if I could make, um, mushroom stew. I probably could. I just need mushrooms that aren't warped fungus and crimson fungus. Oh, that is just lava. Over here, this is black stone. This is like actual Minecraft stone, which is going to be helpful. But like, I don't know how I'm actually going to get to the overworld. Because now that I'm thinking about it, you there's a lot of steps in getting to the nether. And most of them require getting a portal, which most of the time requires a water bucket, lava, and a diamond pickaxe, and obsidian, and... Last I checked, the nether just doesn't have any of that. Going crazy, did I just see a name tag? I mean, this is a single player world, there can't be another person on, but... I don't know, I think I'm losing my mind a little bit. 
I think the nether is doing things to my brain. That is just not good. Now, I don't really know how this is possible because of the fact that I'm so small, but it's happening. I, I, my hand is not even close to this wood piece. Oh. Hey you, you want gold? Let's see, this is actually, now that I think about it, I could just trade with the piglins and see if they can just give me what I need. See, obsidian obtained. We got some obsidian. An enchanted book, soul speed three. Some more blackstone. I wonder if I have dreams luck and I can get me some ender pearls. Oh, there's a lot of blackstone in that hole. Oh my god, there is a lot of blackstone in my inventory. Crying obsidian. What about regular obsidian? You see, the issue is that one there is going to cut off my feet for stealing their precious gold. I don't really care. I'm going to do it anyway. I'm crying obsidian. You want to drop some regular obsidian for me, please? Iron! That's really good. Okay, now I have the steel part of my flint and steel. I've gotten gravel, which is just great. More crying obsidian. Are those normal mushrooms? Those are normal mushrooms. I, I need those. I think we're just going in circles because I'm pretty sure I've seen this floating block before. It's just I didn't go up and say hi to it. I also don't have enough blocks. I'm gonna have to use my blackstone. I wonder if mushrooms can wear like lots of armor because I know that they can wear um well obviously we can wear golden boots because I am wearing one but oh I really am just going in circles I think because this is exactly where I was before wait a second how is that possible This is, wait, how did I went in a circle? <laughs> oh no. Oh, who is, what is this? Get family gathering, I suppose. Um, let me make, let me make some bowls. Mushroom stew is fine. Oh, I'm a cannibal, I'm eating myself. No, where did my guy go? Now, where am I supposed to find a new piglin? Ooh, I got two more obsidian. That's really good. Considering I need ten. <laughs> We're not even halfway done. Oh. Look, I'm just gonna keep my obsidian in my hand. I, uh... Sirs? That's not the kind of obsidian I wanted. <laughs> no. So I will see you all in the next part where I will continue my struggles in the nether. Um, if you do happen to enjoy this video and you want to see more origins, po potentially more of this origin, well probably definitely more of this origin, but if you ever wanted me to try any of the other ones, I can do a quick short series on just building a house suited for their environment or something. I can definitely do that. Um, but leaving a like and a comment and subscribing and sharing this video with your friends definitely, um, and it greatly helps me out. I don't know why I said definitely. This, that greatly helps me out. So if you do enjoy my videos and you do enjoy 
watching my channel as a whole and you want to see me grow a little bit more as a YouTuber, then please leave a like, comment, subscribe if you've not already. It is free and you can always unsubscribe later. The piglin is so big next to me. Okay, I am going to sign out. Bye!